What's up guys? Cyrax is back on Facebook. He's making a video, a serious cry for help. Because he's apparently fucking scared to shit that he's actually going to go to jail. So let's check out what he's going to say. What's up everyone? I know that it's super early in the morning, probably later with some of you guys that are now watching this. But I'm making this video because I need help. For those of you that don't know, I've been the target and the victim of cyberbullying and police neglect over the last five years. The last five years I have been neglected by the cops every time my family tries to reach out for help. This guy named Music Biz Marty and William Glory Hole and all his friends and all their little buddies and including newer people like CBG aka Cyrax Video Games. Um, Metal Gear Rex and so many different people have been harassing me bullying me and it's gotten really really fucking bad to where I'm in fear for my life every day And the reason I'm making this video is because I need someone to please help me to get an outside police source to investigate the police here. Yeah, that's not really how that works. You don't get to choose another police department because you don't like the service you're getting from your local police department. I mean, you could call the FBI, but that's really about like corruption and shit. Because the police here have blatantly mocked me, poked fun at me, and harassed me. And done all kinds of things to harass myself and my family. The police have never harassed you. They laughed at you when you were being a stupid little moron, but that's not really harassment. That's just people laughing at a fool. I've been shot at, I've been assaulted, but yet, no one does anything. But yet, the one time I fight back, I get wrongfully arrested for protecting myself and my family. I hate to keep jumping in, but fucking hell, dude. You can't just keep saying you were protecting them when they were safely inside until you came outside with a bat, you fucking idiot. I can honestly say that I know a lot of you trolls are going to be watching this too and that's fine but you trolls you just you know you guys just don't understand the amount of fear that you have me living in and my family living in every day I'm in fear for my life every fucking day of the week. From the time I get up to the time I go to bed, I'm always scared. Always afraid for my life. Always afraid for my family. If you are, then it's just a made up delusion in your head that people are actually going to attack you. Because no one has ever attacked you. No one shot a bullet through your window. Marty didn't attack you, you attacked him. The guy with a sign outside your house didn't attack you. No one's ever attacked you. You just act like you're the fucking victim all the time because you love to be the victim. And you guys sit there and say that I'm fake crying, but let me tell you something. I've cried so much that it's hard for me to even produce tears anymore. I literally have to put eye drops in my eyes now as a result. 
Because I've cried so much that I have no tears left, essentially. That's not how that works. You're dehydrated because all you do is drink sludge and never drink water. And it fucking sucks. Because you guys don't know how many times I have lied awake at night bawling my eyes out and scared. Not knowing what to do. Not knowing if I'm going to live to see the next day. Not knowing if someone's going to try to shoot at me or hurt me again. You know, you trolls leaving me in prison in my own home is jail enough. I don't need jail. You don't get to decide that. The judge will decide your punishment. You don't get to just say, oh, I've already had enough. I'm good now. See ya, guys. Because you guys leave me in my own home is jail enough. That's imprisonment enough. And for you Akron PD scumbags, I want to know something. Why the fuck didn't you guys do anything when my family reached out to help over 113 times this year? Over 113 times alone this year, my family has screamed and cried and pleaded and begged for your help. But what did you do? Sat there and mocked us. Blamed me for shit that I didn't do. Openly helped the fucking trolls to harass me. You didn't do a damn thing to help. When I got shot at, you guys blatantly refused to take the bullet out of the mattress and try to match it up because there was no bullet. Because there was no bullet because it was a lie. Because the police knew that. That's why they knew there was nothing to dig out of your mattress. Because it's a lie. And you think you can just say it enough that it's real and then blame them for not doing something about the lie? You fucking idiot. I get assaulted. You guys don't do shit. You don't allow me to press charges on the motherfucker that assaulted me. Because you attacked him. You want to see it again, guys? Come on, bud. Come on. But the one fucking time that I fight back, when someone steps onto my fucking property and I defend myself and my family and protect us from danger, what do you do? You fucking arrest me, which is bullshit, and you fucking know it. Some of you motherfuckers are the trolls. Some of you cops are the fucking trolls, and you know it. Well, then maybe they are corrupt. Maybe you do need to call the FBI. You know, you, you Akron PD scumbags, you sit there and say like, oh, you started, you, you're at fault. Am I really? Yep. Who's really at fault here? Huh? Ask yourselves, who's really at fault here? Is it me? Or is it you motherfuckers for not doing anything? I think the answer is pretty fucking clear. I get death threats to my house every fucking day. I get threatened to be killed if I go to jail. I get threatened with death threats every day. You know what? You might. But that's what happens when you're a screaming goblin for eight years who tries to hit on children and threaten people's lives and have people and their children murdered because they exposed you. People tend to think you're kind of a piece of shit and don't want good things for you. Whether it's me going to jail or not, which we already know I'm not going to jail, that's not going to happen. 
Me going to jail ain't gonna fucking happen, and I'm gonna make damn sure of that. There is absolutely fucking nothing you can do if a judge says you go to jail. But what's fucked up and funny to me is the reason the reason why I know you cops are involved in my harassment and involved with the trolls is this. You guys are turning a blind eye to what William Glory Hole is doing by posting up these body cam footages that he's not allowed to do. It's called Freedom of Information Act. It's so that the courts and the police can't do shit under the covers of secrecy and haul people away to jail with no record. It's why we're in America and why we have a free society. It's not to protect little goblins from having embarrassing videos get out about them. Yes, it's freedom of request, but you are not allowed to use that footage for malicious intent, which is what William Glory Hole was doing. Even if that were true, which it's not, malicious intent means, you know, malicious intent, not just showing what happened and you don't like it. It doesn't become malicious because you don't like it. At second off, it's pretty funny, don't you think, how you trolls, how your little troll buddies can sit there and tell me to get off the internet, get off the internet, and yet what do you guys do? The same thing, telling me to get off the internet. Coincidence? I don't fucking think so. It's not a coincidence because it's the answer. You need to get off the internet. You need to stop playing these games with trolls and trying to scream and call out people. Like the police department, like you're doing right now, you fucking idiot. That ain't a fucking coincidence. I mean, why is it that you're so quick to arrest me, but you're not so quick to arrest the people that try to harm me and my family? Why is that? Huh? Why is that? Because no one else committed a crime that day, Chase. Because you don't get to just say, oh, they're doing something illegal. They're standing on my sidewalk. Arrest them. These people push me, antagonize me, harass me, put my family in danger. Every day. But yet the one time I fight back, I get arrested? Really? I didn't even hit the motherfucker. He caught the bat with his bare hands. But yet I'm the one to get arrested? That's fucking bullshit and you fucking all know it. You know what? Let's take your fucking logic. That bullet that went through your window didn't hit you. So no one committed a crime shooting at you. So yeah, Akron PD, I am calling you guys out. Because none of you did a damn thing to help my family. When we screamed for help, you ignored us. You illegally labeled me and my family as 43s. When we're not crazy. You tell me to get off the internet? I got off the internet several times for six months at a time and guess what? They took it from the internet to real fucking goddamn life. They took it to real life by trying to shoot at me and kill me. By assaulting me. By stealing shit from us. By throwing eggs at our house. By posting up slanderous signs about me that ain't fucking true. By showing up to my fucking house. And putting my family's lives and my life in danger. But you don't care, do you? You cops don't fucking care. All you give a fuck about is this. Money. 
because you're a bunch of greedy, selfish assholes that don't care about the people like you say you do. Because if you did care, then why did none of you do a damn thing to fucking help me? Why did you fail me? Why did you fail my family? Every one of you cops should be ashamed of yourselves for not helping. Every one of you should be ashamed. Honestly, how are you not ashamed of yourself right now? Any normal human would be like embarrassed as fuck to even be caught doing this by a friend, much less on camera for the world to see. You clearly don't fucking understand shit, do you? You cops clearly don't understand. What you guys did is wrong. Sitting there openly mocking me, blaming me for shit. No, it ain't gonna go down like that. And that's why I'm asking any of my friends that do see this. If any of you knows a police department that would be willing to work with me. Please do so. Please get in contact with me because I want to fight this. I want to show that I'm innocent and that I'm a victim. And that these cops did nothing to fucking help. These police did nothing but sit there and antagonize it. I need help, guys. If somebody out there knows somebody that can help me that's actually an actual police officer, or if any of you guys have friends that are police, like currently police, or has a connection to a police district, that can help me, please get me in contact with them. I need to talk to an outside source. Because this has got to stop. I have been living as a prisoner in my own home for almost five years. And I'm tired of living this way. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of living in fear and I'm tired of living as a prisoner in my own fucking home. Not being able to go outside. Not being able to do things that I used to do. I have been a prisoner in my own home for the last five years and I'm sick of it. So if anybody out there can please help me. Please do so. Get in contact with me right away because I want to fight this and I want to put a stop to this. Because I do have proof that the police are working with the trolls. And that the trolls have blatantly said that if I go to jail, I'm dead. And if I stay out of jail, they're going to do whatever they can to make my life a living hell and or kill me. So please, if anybody out there sees this, Please help me, because I need help before the 24th, because on the 24th, that's when my trial date is, if it goes to trial. If it goes to trial, my trial date's on the 24th. I need help. I want to prove that I am a victim. I don't deserve this. I need help guys, please. Well, good luck with that Cyrax. Let's hope you get that outside police department to come into Akron and save you from the Akron PD. But I don't think that's gonna happen. But thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful day.